guys, hello once again. Look what I've got here. This is brand new from Trainer. This is a Trainer Quarter Horse 25 watt amplifier. Now I know this looks like a stomp box, but it's really not. It's a bona fide 25 watt amplifier. You can connect an uh, 8 ohm speaker cabinet here, which I'm going to demonstrate very shortly here. And uh, you've also got a guitar input here. And you've got a line out, which also doubles as a headphone out. And you've got uh, reverb on off. You've got effects on off. And the effects you have here are tremolo, which has a rate and a depth adjustment. And then you've also got a tape echo, a very nice tape echo, which has a time and a pizza adjustment. Then you've got two channels. You've got a clean channel and you've got a drive channel. The drive channel has drive gain, drive treble, and the, and the drive volume. That's the volume for the drive channel. And this is the volume for the clean channel. It's got a really good rich tone. So let's plug this thing up to a cabinet and see what kind of tones we can get out of it. Okay, so let me give you a rundown on the gear I'm using here. This is a Paul Reed Smith Experience Edition. It's got the Paul Reed Smith humbuckers. I'm using a Yorkville Studio One instrument cable. And I'm micing it with an Apex 4, 415 right here, large diaphragm mic. I have the clean volume up to about 3 o'clock and the master volume up to about 1. And with my volume on the guitar, roll back a little bit. I'm getting a really nice clean, nice clean tone. I've, I don't have the reverb or the delay on right now, so this is just the clean tone. Now if I roll my volume up a little bit, I get a little bit of breakup. When I really dig in, dig into the, with the pick I can get some breakup. Engage the reverb. This is with the reverb knob all the way down. You can hear it. Now I'm going to turn it up to about 12 o'clock, the reverb. Got a nice spring sound to it. Okay, now let's try the tremolo effect. You have a depth and a rate. This is about where I like to usually set it. Death down a little bit. Now let's try the tape delay. And I'll turn the rate to this. About 400 milliseconds is what it sounds like to me. And the repeat sounds about right. Thank you. 
effects off and now I'm going to switch to the drive channel. And I'll let you hear what it sounds like when I do switch. Now for this sound I have the drive gain pegged, okay? It's got a nice, nice distorted sound. have the drive treble pegged all the way up so I'm going to turn that down a little bit that's the drive treble pegged and now I'm going to turn it all the way off I think straight up sounds best to me Try some tape delay with the distorted sound. Let's hear the reverb on the drive channel. I'll turn the reverb to about 9 o'clock. So I'll turn the drive down to about 12 o'clock, the drive gain down to about 12 o'clock. So you can hear how this thing just has a nice little breakup to it. Nice, rich, warm sound. Let's go back to the clean channel, and uh, I'm going to dial down the channel volume and try to get a just totally clean sound, no no breakup at all. Add some delay. So let's see how this sounds with some backing tracks. I'll put together this little blues jam and I'll go through the clean channel and the drive channel 
And so you can hear for yourself how it would sound in a recording situation. So let's see what that sounds like. Okay folks, so there you have it, the Trainer Quarter Horse 25 Watt Microamp. I forgot to mention, I had this amp plugged up to the Trainer DX, DHX 212 cab, a great 212 cabinet, which I, I will be demonstrating in another demo video soon to come. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed my little demo of this great new product and be looking for it out there. And thanks for watching all my videos and commenting. I really appreciate it and all your support. So until next time, you guys rock. Take care.